Welcome to the studio. Today it's about time for another small gear delivery. This right here is an entire bundle. It's music related. We got here headphones, THX50, a nice microphone. Even more importantly, a pop filter. More on that later. And an entire arm. So all of this combined is a good, nice, value, budget-friendly set up for streaming or and podcasting. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, I'll link it down below. Again, very budget friendly as a package deal. And we'll concentrate today on how to use this equipment to the fullest to get the best voice result for your videos, for your podcast and alike. And also like some of the editing in the computer you can apply to just stand out a little more and get that crispy, crispy, clear voiceover kind of sound. So everything necessary, install headphones, the arm, which is really nice. Like you put it somewhere and it stays where it is and it doesn't transfer a lot of sound to the mic. Then we got the pop filter really really important and what i absolutely love is like there's a cable already in the arm here to the preamp right there this is a little messy i'll put it somewhere else but well, that's something for another day but now the interesting part what does it sound like because right now you hear me through the camera's mic which is on top of the camera cameras maybe twice arm reach away and it should sound pretty decent because as you know this room is acoustically treated so if i clap there's basically no reverb and i think that's definitely the key point when you want to get like a crisp vocal you need to get the echo out of the room absorption is key i made plenty of videos about it this room right here is a little extreme but downstairs we have a vocal booth that has even more absorption, like it's 100% absorbing radio stations, YouTubers that stream, Twitch people, like all of them, they have something on their walls to reduce the echo. But yeah, let's, let's do the sound test, the before and after. So right now, camera mic, and now you hear me through this dedicated mic, very close. So you'll have usually a lot more bass. That's what you're used to from documentaries, from the radio. The closer you get, the more bass usually. If I go a little back, of course, the volume drops. And also this bass increase is kind of gone. Close again. I like that. John Sign, ASMR. And now the pop filter, as the name already suggests, is to prevent pops. So whenever you do pop, you can hear like the, the breathing, the air that is like squished out of your mouth. So if I do it again without the pop filter... You can really hear like the air being catched in the mic and the pop filter prevents that a hundred percent. So whenever you see a shield like this in front of a mic, it's to prevent these pops, pop, 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 pop. It just works. So far so good. So let's maybe record some, some test uh, voice recorded into Logic, into the DAW to edit it. Okay, let's just read today's news USA Today. I'm not comfortable sexting how to set boundaries in a relationship. Suspected serial killer connected to six murders in Missouri, Kansas. And by the way, if you're interested again in this entire setup, it was very inexpensive, a really, really good deal. Quality is good. And it looks really cool, like the mic. I don't know if you can see it, but there is like this red glow and shine. It's actually using the phantom power to power the mic, but also there's there's a light in there. It's a cool, nice addition. So if you're interested, I'll link it down below. Also, like if you want to check the price, it's in the link because it might vary depending on where you live. And there's probably also a Black Friday deal available. So let's do the edit. I already prepared a lot of like a, a simple vocal processing kind of chain, basics, the standard stuff. First up is an EQ to cut the very low frequencies. For example, if you touch the mic or there's rumble or you step on the floor or touch the table, this transfers into the mic sometimes. So cutting the very low frequencies below 100 hertz is really advised. And then boosting the top end, you can pick like the very, very top end. 
and usually this makes the vocal shine cut a little more through and just sound more like radio. Also sometimes what people do is like boost the low frequencies. That's a matter of taste and depends on how close you are to the mic. I'm not comfortable texting how to set boundaries in a relationship. Suspected serial killer connected to six murders in Missouri. I think here in this case it sounds a little fuller, like giving the range 100 to 400 hertz, like a little boost of almost 4 dB. Um, since it's only the voice, you can make it like be fatter, wider, and cover more of the frequency range because there is no instrumental, there is no music playing. It's just your voice, so you can boost it a little more. Then next up, I got something that sometimes makes sense. Um, it's a denoiser. It just removes all of the noise. I'm not comfortable sexting how to set boundaries in a relationship. Suspect. I'm not comfortable sexting how to set boundaries in a relationship. This video is definitely getting demonetized just for the sexting. Um, but yeah, the the denoise takes away the noise floor. I personally don't mind like if if a mic or like a recording has like a, a noise floor. As long as it's not too loud, I actually feel like it just gives me more immersion and pulls everything together. But if you want to get rid of it, you can with a plugin like this. Then a standard compressor on top. The compressor, as the name suggests, is squishing the vocal. So every time you go further away from the mic, it will actually make the quiet part louder again. So that if you move, it doesn't change too much in volume. And if you do something really loud, it will automatically reduce it. So it's making the, the voice, the volume of the voice more equal. And then last but not least, the de -esser. it removes the harsh S sounds. They can be really annoying, especially if you boost the top end, especially if you get closer to a mic, especially for females. And like there's some, some, like some people just have harsher S sounds, some less. I'm not comfortable sexting. I'm not comfortable sexting how to set. I'm not comfortable sexting. You can really hear that the S sounds are reduced. And that's basically it. Like, I, I think you can apply these effects in, in OBS if you're doing like streaming. If you do podcasts, you anyways have the entire audio and you can alter it later on. If you do a video, you can change it in there. In Final Cut, I'm actually using these kind of plugins to enhance the, the audio of the mic that is on top of the camera. And also a, a quick tip is uh, Audio Hijack. It's a program where you can have plugins on top. For example, right here, the Span Analyzer is like analyzing audio and it can also capture sounds. You can put plugins in between. So yeah, that's, that's that. What you need for podcasting, again, mic, arm, pop filter, headphones. If you don't have headphones and you output the sound through the speakers, it will be caught again by the mic and you get a feedback loop. That's really, really nasty. So headphones, pop filter, mic, arm, cable, and a sound card or preamp, something to connect it to your computer so the audio is actually being transferred to it. And if you're wondering why all of this for me, let me try and explain. So as you already know, I announced bigger changes to my channel. This one right here is a daily vlog of me being a producer and DJ already for five and a half years. And I wanted to switch things a little up. For example, we're doing like a weekly feedback kind of video. I want to do it as a live stream. And I think for a live stream, a dedicated setup with a, with a mic is a lot nicer than just using something on top of the mic. It's a more like controlled environment. It's it's less vlogging, it's less walking around. So I don't need like the mic on top of the camera. I can have something proper. And we're also planning to do a podcast again with some guests. So that's nice and handy. But more on that, probably in a week or two or three, I'll be able to share and announce everything coming up for next year. Thanks all for watching.